Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 12. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 1, click on the link below the video. Hey, we've got to talk about adding and subtracting. Now, you know, most of us know how to add and subtract, but we'll see if we can uh, figure out a few tricks here. Now, this is the same example we did uh, last uh, video, so I'll do it quickly here. We have to take gross pay times tax rate so we have to use the round function. Now we're multiplying here, which is the step before adding all of these tax deductions. That is a relative cell reference times, and then this tax rate needs to be locked. So you lock it with the F4 key. Comma, and then that num digits, we learned all about that last video, to the penny is 2. I'm going to double click and send it down. Now I'm going to click there and use the control down arrow. So the arrow keys are navigation keys that jumps to the bottom. Now it looks like I had a little sum function here and I double clicked and sent it all the way down. So I'm glad I look, I'm look. i looking here at the bottom. I can already see if I hit F2. I don't want that. Delete. But I am going to click right here and F2. All right, that looks like it's working. Relative cell reference, gross pay. And we still got that. Now, why do we do that multiplying? Because this is commonly what we'll do for invoices or payroll. We then add alt equals. All right, and this would be the dumbest formula ever. I had a video just on this last video, last chapter, but this is even uh, sillier because it takes too long and it won't update if you were to insert a row. All right, now, right here, range function, right? If we insert a row, um, and this this will update, right? We saw a video last time, but sometimes you can't you you can't really have a range, right? C4 colon C39. Here's an example. Here's an invoice. Alt equals tab tab tab. Alt alt equals tab tab tab. Alt equals. So I added these up, and I want to total them. Well, here, you know, what am I going to do? This plus this plus this. That's perfectly all right to do because, you know, there's not a whole column uh, like this. There's no way to do a range there. So that's perfectly all right. That's an example of when you, it's OK to do plus, plus, plus. Here's an alternative. Alt equals gives us the sum, and then I click right there, comma, click, comma, click. It's uh, either there or here, whichever one you like. But that certainly is all right. Another way to do that same sum with commas is to Alt equals, click on the first one, and then hold the Control key, click, click. So that'll put the commas in for you. Now notice if I click right here, num3, num, number2, number1, you can actually have many arguments um, in a sum function. I'm going to hit Enter, and I'm going to scroll way over here. So here we have uh, three sales columns. And for whatever reason, they're in different columns. So I'm going to Alt equals, highlight the first column. Now I can type a comma or hold Control. I'm going to hold Control. The, reason, the nice thing about Control is I just hold it and highlight all different ranges I want. So that's another use for the sum function. All right, now important trick, and this is just like um, some homework problems. Uh, they'll give you a picture in the book, and then you have to add them all up. Now I want to show you two things here. I want to show you how to quickly add some sum function, but I also want to show you a trick for entering data in a table form. Now notice I click and drag. That's the selection cursor. The white one is called the active cell. Now I'm just going to make up some numbers here. Um, but watch, my goal is I have, want to type down, enter, enter, enter. But when I get down here, I want to jump up here. Well, by pre-selecting, it will automatically do that. 10, enter, 20, enter, 30, enter, 50, enter, 50. And now when I hit Enter, it jumps up there. I'm just going to make up some numbers.
45, and this last one is 70. And now, when you're at the last one, when you hit Enter, it jumps back over there. That's a data entry trick. So that's nice, because then you can just do the number pad and look at the, you know, the numbers in your book or from your report or whatever, and use the Enter key. Now, the other trick here for adding is if you have a bunch of uh, numbers and you highlight one column to the right and one below, when you invoke the sum function, either with the button or our keyboard shortcut, Alt equals, it knows to put all the sum functions in. right? And so then you might audit a few of them just to make sure, but that's a pretty cool trick. All right, subtracting. All right, so we'll see a couple uh, examples here. Um, this is straightforward. You know, we have revenues and expenses. Revenues are all the funds coming into a businesses. Expenses are all the funds going out. So the difference will give us our what's called net income. Um, other synonyms for net, that's what they use in accounting. Other synonyms for net income are profit or earnings. I'm going to say equals, and I'm going to arrow, arrow to get that, minus arrow. All right, so the difference will give us our profit, subtraction. Now here's a different setup here. So we have, so it's a payroll table. And we'll have payroll tables uh, exactly like this. Here's our gross. Whoops. Uh, I'm going to say OK, and then I'm going to con undo Control-Z. I made a mistake there. OK, so I'm, I'm hunting around here. OK, it looks like those are straight dollar amounts. Oh, it looks like I have the round there. So this is already set up correctly. Now, how in the world do I get net pay? So your paycheck, right? This gross minus this, minus this, minus this. This is pretty much what you, you don't want to do. You don't want to build a formula like this, minus this, minus this, minus this. The reason why is uh, if this is a template you use over and over, if you ever to were to insert a new column for a new deduction, this wouldn't update. And it probably takes a long time. And probably what you really want to do is you probably want the total deductions because you're, you're going to need that anyway for a tax report. So total. So here it is, subtraction. Is it OK? Here we, we did um, some number minus this, minus this, minus this. Is it, is it OK if we just added these all up first and then just did one subtraction? You betcha. All right, so really what we should do here is we should put our sum function, Alt equals. And here's an example. Now, so far in this class, this is week two, right, chapter one. I keep mentioning that the functions will guess wrong. And here's the perfect example, because these are all typed in numbers. And that sum function is programmed to go look for all the numbers. But there's no way. We do not want to add gross. So if the dancing answers Dancing ants are still dancing. You simply take your cursor and redirect it. Just like with our arrow keys, you can keep redirecting until you get it right. And as long as the dancing ants are still moving, you can redirect it. There it is. That's correct. Control Enter. I'm going to double click and send it down. So we've added. Now our calculation is simply gross minus total deductions. And that'll be our net pay. Control Enter. Double click and send it out. Notice I didn't have to use the round, because I already used round here. And I didn't have to use it here either. All these rounded numbers are already rounded. Now I'm going to do a little formatting here. This is a payroll report. It's in dollars. So I'm going to Control Shift 4. Now, one thing in some reports, um, accountants only want to see the dollar signs in the top row and not clutter the rest of the report up with dollar signs, as long as there's a sign symbol somewhere saying what this unit is. So I'm going to come down here, and how do I get rid of that? I'm going to go to the Format Cells dialog box, Control-1. There's also, you can use this button up here, Control-1, Number, because it's number formatting currency, and then here's the power. I can do whatever I want. For example, I can say none. Click OK. Yeah, that looks less cluttered. All right, uh, uh, another, so we want to subtract. We ultimately want the bottom line here. That's our net income. We want to have total revenues minus total expenses. But often, there's many revenues and many expenses. So I'm going to add these up first. Alt equals. Come down here. Alt equals. 
All right, and I'm going to add some formatting here. Uh, I'm going to put accounting. Now, in accounting, we want to have uh, a dollar sign for the top number and the, the any calculation, right? But not probably for that. Now, I want to get rid of some of these dollar signs. For example, I want to get rid of all of these. Now, how did I do that? How did I highlight that and that even though it's not next to each other? I click, and now I hold the Control key and highlight there. All right, so now I'm going to, I could Control 1. It's accounting. I could say None right here. I'm going to click Escape. There is a button up in the number group, and it's that one right there. It's called comma style. But if you read the screen tip, it'll tell you that it's account. It's not. Let me see if I maximize this. Uh, yeah, so there it is in the screen tip. It says uh, th this is accounting without the dollar symbol. Right. So I still have these highlighted. I'm going to come up and just use comma. Now. I have this formatted the way I want. I need to take this and subtract this. So I go equals total revenue. Revenues are all the funds coming in, minus total expenses, all the funds going out. Minus 13. Now we have a count that that's okay. Sometimes that happens, a business loses money, but that shows parentheses. That is um, something that is in accounting. When you show a negative, you show uh, it in parentheses. All right, um, one other thing about this report here. We might add some different borders here. This is a calculation. And the tradition in accounting is that you have a dark border above the line where there's a calculation. So I'm going to click in this cell. And I'm going to Control-1. That's Format Cells. Go to Borders. And then I'm going to take some thick line. And over here, I could just click that. But I, you could also click over here and draw. Click OK. You got to click to the side to see it. All right. Here's another calculation. I'm going to do the same thing. Control 1, select my line. I could use that button right there, but I'm just going to click OK. And then finally, the bottom line. I'm going to Control 1, and I'm going to do two lines a thick line, because that says I just did a calculation. And this is the bottom line, so I'm going to click there to have a double line. Now, in a lot of accounting, you don't show negatives on the income statement. You would list this as a net loss and show this as a positive, but we're not going to worry about that here. All right, so that's a little bit about adding and subtracting. In our next video, we'll see a few tricks about multiplying and dividing. All right, see you next video.